Welcome to Music Panorama, the Valentine's Day edition. My name is Yinka Davis. My band is five and six who just want to want to be away from each one of them. English is up to you. You can understand what I'm saying. Say. They just don't want to be apart from one another. This edition, I have with me one of the lover boys of Nigerian music. His name is Michael Okri. I was about 10 when I heard this song. I think I was about 10, if I remember correctly. And um, at the age of 10, listening to the great Stevie Wonder and the lady dancing in the clouds, believe me, I couldn't think of anything else in my life. Just want to be a ballerina. But here, I have the pleasure to present to you on this Valentine edition, Ribbon in the Sky. Enjoy. So long through the night, I pray that a star would guide you my way to share with me the special day where a river's in the sky. For our love, if a lie, may I touch your hand and please, may I once again, so that you will die. There's a ribbon in the sky for our love. Thank you. 
There's a ribbon in the sky for our love. Happy Valentine, everybody. My name is Rafi Abasi, artist, songwriter, and producer, and basis for Inca Davis and the Five and Six Band. It's been amazing here yeah, all through. So getting to play music from the 80s and um, 90s, yeah. Getting to play their music has been very amazing and um, and very exploring. My name is Jean-Claude Richard Adiwali Smiles. I am a vocalist, I say. As a vocalist, you know, uh, I've built a lot of confidence, you know, I've learned uh, to play different genre of music, and which is working for me today. I mean, we've been planning to have things like this done, you know, over the years, and it's such a privilege is coming to us now. So I, I believe it's, it's a time to learn more, basically. It's a time to learn more, and I'm here to have fun. Every day, ha. this one I like bang bang. Make sure show you love an electric current. That is why my mama go na la cayana, baby. Oh, 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 She go tell you, say, not be only you be her lover. Put your background, now I'm more a cold on done. Original and young, get money in a hand. Back and ground, no. This one, there is a blade. Some, some baby pancake, oh. She not go like me, you say. She go pass her mama. Tell I'm just look at the cat, I go boss, oh. And everything go back. She go fell and let find her way. Oh, oh, oh. And you're not to see her again. Whoa, oh, oh. To run, to run, to run. That's just how to be sad. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl.
perfectly your own today. She go tell you, say, can be only you be her lover. Put here for ground. No more a good done done it. Original like young game money na back and ground go. This one no raise a blade. Samsung baby can't go. She no go like me, you say. She go pass her mama. Tell I'm just look at a cat that was who And everything Go back for God She go fail and let find a way oh, yeah. And you not know, go see her Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a chat with the great Mike Okri. Egbomi atata. I hear you. I agbedi. Have you? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me the great Mike Okri. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm, it's my pleasure. You know. If I was not on stage with him, I was in the studio with him. True. I pretty much have a love, major love for my, my big egg. Me, egg my egg body, my give me, oh, kidi happy kidi. Valentine, by the way. Again, happy again, Valentine. again, again, again. Yes. It's just that I would have had a touch of red, but somehow... You sort I of missed it just along I'm the way. I'm sorry I didn't let you know. No, I wanted to surprise yeah, but it's you. It's still a blend. Anyhow, I love what I see. Yes. <laughs> yes. Tell me, Egomi. I heard about a place called Agbaru, Agbaruto. Yes, um, that is my ancestral, it's part of my ancestral home, Agbara Uto. And, um, but it's not the full ancestral home. Um, I went to school there. I, I attended Hebrew College, uh, where I attended my secondary school, we call it high school. It's a wonderful place, but my main place is Oropo. Oropo. <laughs> Not that Oropo, but Oropo, which is known as Oropo. In, um, it's at the uh, Agbon clan, and is also Urobo. So, but my, I, you know, that's my, that's where my father came from. But my mother came from two places again: uh, Ugeli, Afiosiri, and Agbarauto. That's why I said it's half and half. And a beautiful place, wonderful place. The Urobos like it in Owo and Stash. That's their favorite food. How was schooling like for you? School life was uh, wonderful. I. I grew up in uh, um, in many parts of Nigeria. That's why I'm a complete Nigerian. Um, first, I attended uh, Mayflower Ikene, and it was brief. From there, I went to Olowu in Ibadan. 
From there, I now went to Mok- uh, Army Children's School, Mokolai Bado. Then I spent one year again in uh, Yolo- Loyola, and then before I went to Hebrew College. And then, of course, yes, my I also uh, did a bit of uh, broadcasting when I was growing up and um, TV college just. So that's before I went full time into music. And, um, you know, so the world has never been the same for me ever since. I became, I started serenading like you. <laughs> Tell me about how you got inspired to be a musician. And Honestly, how many admirers do you have, especially for like Valentine? Uh, you know, as many as you would want to count because I grew up, I happened to be one of those that were mistaken for a young lady. When I was growing up, my voice was so tiny and many people would mistake me for, ah, where's that girl until they see me face to face? That's when they would say, ah, this is a guy and then singing like a lady because my falsetto was very, Mwah. not now when we don't chop a, Akbo and the rest of it to, you know, make it, uh, and of course we're growing older. However, it was wonderful when I was growing up. Um, I happened to come from a family of full arts. We have writers among us. We have lawyers among us. And then we have singers among us. And we actually, um, I happened to be the black sheep because when I remember when I took to music, my father was like, oh, this own you. And then I said, look, <laughs> okay. And I went to school, got the certificate, and I showed it to my dad and said, hey, this is not the certificate too. I'm on my way to Jackpa. So that's where I moved to the next level. When I came to Lagos, um, my first uh, demo was refused. That was when DZK was uh, um, in really making his moves. And, um, you know, I, I had to, DZK said, well, like voice, but boy now. And no, 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 no. But at the end of the day, the same audio on the which is our big father, round of applause for that man, Aww. called me and said, wow. But as before he did, Laulu had already gotten me for CBS. So, and I worked with a host of artists, um, traveled to many places. I, I worked before Nyeka, I worked with uh, Uche Beto. I worked with uh, late um, uh, Sonny Okosuns. I worked with um, even King Sonny Ade briefly. And I also worked with, um, that was when they said, <laughs> So those are the things that we got used to and it was part of us and we were family. And then before I eventually joined in with um, Onyeko Oweno, I was with Onyeko Oweno for about four, four years before I went solo. Impossible, baby. 
So Jehun Line Cat David, um, a piano player for Five and Six Band. The show has brought, I mean, has, has given us the opportunity to work with people that have done music, you know, properly, you know, um, doing music in a proper way, you know, even with the limited amount of technology that was available then. I mean, they've been able to come, come and create great sound, create great music, you know, and it's it's really a privilege to to have this, you know, this platform where we all can come together to, you know, to perform, you know, the music with them. My name is um, Omi Rile uh, I play guitar. I think it's, um, it, it, it gave me the opportunity to, to meet um, legends and um, see how legends, even um, at, at their old age, they tend to, they tend to still perform and, they are still on point. Wow. Uh, that's the that's the tale. You know, I was going to tell you to sing uh, one of Ogasoni Okusun's song, Help. <laughs> I love that song. Uh, it's it's a it's a song that uh, I don't, do you remember? Do you have so um, I, can, I can't even remember. I can't even remember <laughs> that song. Yes, <laughs> but it's one of our touchy side because yes. Um, yes. Uh, it was the the, the first song that uh, Okus that, that was a break for Sonia Okusun's. 
Mm -hmm. That was his very first song, you know, and kudos to many other people that was behind that song. I'll leave that for oh. later. <laughs> um, you know, so music was fun. We were having good time, old, young, coming together. I just want about to ask you the question. Don't say that I'm, I'm the one interviewing you now. What is happening to our industry? The love that we used to have. So, I mean, you and I are great yes, sir. together, but I don't want to make you look like, okay, it's only the old school that is rubbing minds. What about the young school, if that's the way to put it, or the new school? <laughs> so we need a family. And now, like I told you, yes. the union has to work together. Yes, sir. Bring you and I and many others together so we can have a formidable industry. I guess that's the reason why we have you in the house right now to remind us of who we are. Music was for love. Remember your remains. generation? Yes. The GDOB, yes. the Up Your On Your Heart. Yes. You all recorded incredible if you, tunes. If, let me just even say, I mean, not too far away. I mean, because when you see that, that was when I was, most of us were probably in school and all that. And we, I remember I used to climb the guava tree. Before I joined the, um, Sonia Koso, I would climb the guava tree to watch him to come play in my town. So let's even move from there to the time where we were all in Lagos, in Kaban Bamboo. I remember when all of us with Alexito, then Alexito was playing his bass. Uh, we used to have Ayobankole and the rest of us. And we would just sit by the piano and just sing. And that was the first time. Um, what's the name of this guy? Oh, I remember. But anyhow, many of us like that came together and discovered, oh, ah, look, King Slogoro was still trying to play the keyboard there. And then many of us, it was fun. We, we, we were people from different, uh, you know, part of a uh, life, but we discovered us through music. Do we still have the same kind of love today? I don't think so, because there's so many um, fantasies around. However, it is because we lack it that the music industry suffers. So how do we get back on the train of achievement? We need to we need each other because, like I used to tell the young folks these days, that 15 years down the road, what are they going to be remembered for? You know, we're not even talking about far away, 20, 30, 15 years from now, many will have been forgotten. Yes, there's a lot of money now. Me self won't make my own. Yes, <laughs> I agree with you, sir. But let's make it together as a spirit. The Grand Duke or Duchy of Luxembourg want to thank you. Oh, <laughs> how do you say it in, 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 in German language? Uh, uh, Dankeschön. Dankeschön? Danke. 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 Uh, okay. We, they want Omogate Train to do a tour of Europe post-COVID-19. Oh. Whoa. Ah, that they, is a good one. Say, can you fuel your yearning power and recharge your energy? They love you. They are waiting you and they say thank you. We have to do this party. That's their own comment. So we have quite a bit of response from them. Mm -hmm. And then I just want to take another one. Uh, okay. Yes. Ah, I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't know how to put this question. This question is quite... They want to ask you about your admirers on Valentine. Oh, yeah. During your school days. Oh, I remember back in the day when... Um, I'll take my little guitar because I'm a, I was very good at playing the guitar, but only at the neck. I never attempt to play it in the middle because that's when you know that I'm a novice. But at the neck, I could just cheat a little bit. And I would sing songs like um, uh, Lionel Rich's um, uh, uh, um, 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 Night Shift. I would do a bit of... Uh, that's that's uh, the uh, Commodores. Uh, the Commodores, yes, as a group. I would do um, Easy Like Sunday Morning and then the rest of the beautiful songs that were written by Lana Ritchie and the Commodores. And then later we did songs like um, Stock on You, um, you know, and many more. Um, it was fun. And my admirers were like, mostly, don't, I'm, I'm not at the one at fault, women. And um, that's when uh, I was at a point, but I became, you know the beautiful thing about music, um, when you are an orator, when you are uh, someone, well, uh, 
to digress a little bit, when I was growing up, I didn't grow with grow up with anyone that's my age group. I grew up with elders. I grew up with those who were more mature than me. So they taught me how to talk and how to speak. That it's not everything that you see that is that glitters that is gold. So there are some people that yes, they will come to you and ask for some things just with their eyes talking to you. How do you talk back to them? So I learned those little tricks from my elders. And so my admirers, those I know <clears throat> I couldn't get too close, I speak to them words of wisdom, and they, up till today, they admire me for it. Some, through me and my music, met their loved ones, and they, today they are happily married. And some others just drifted away because that's not what they wanted, and I couldn't give them what they want. <laughs> so that's just life. Egbomi, when will you adapt the story of your life into movies? Uh, that's, that's a very good question. Uh, I know that um, in most cases when anyone has reached a particular age and has also uh, made a mark in any profession, of course, they should be thinking about a storyline adapted. If not into a movie, could be a memoir and a whole stuff. All that makes a man um, uh, live a life that is um, um, what, um, how do you put the Oibo now? That is worth telling. telling. Thank you. Um, really, um, I, I'm a lover of movies. I also, I, if I wasn't a singer, musician, I probably would have been an actor, a bad one. <laughs> but at least, but and then that placed me in being a very worldwide, call it critique. I can watch movies and tell the stories in and out. So I knew for certain that, yes, um, one day, um, being a writer myself, because I'm writing some, I'm writing some, not my memoir yet, because I would want someone else to write my memoir, but I have seen some published in manuscripts. So I'm looking at the area of a movie that will talk about my life, and which is very, um, uh, um, uh, something I know is exemplary. Why did I say so? Because um, um, I've come out from the very deep of polygamy into the world of a monogamist. Why? Because my father was married to many wives. And then, you know how that is in a, as an Oruba man. But I had to learn to understand that, you know, back in the day, I, there was no way I could write off my father, no, because that was part of the life then. Because for you to be a big man, you have to be a man of so many wives that will go to the farm. Although my father was an educated man, oh boy, he chose to live that life. And I was part of that life. But I, there were certain things I said in modern day of my time that wouldn't be right. Um, even though some, my, some of my younger ones would say, ah, oh, look at you, when we have more women in the world today than men. And some will even say, I'm ready to just answer your name. You don't need to do anything. You're all new. Exactly. However, it created a background for me to better understand the world around me. So movie telling is a must if God gives us what? The grace. Man, thank you. I hope I was a good girl when I would come and harass you over recording the studio. Listen, uh, <laughs> Nienka, oh, my without, God. With, listen, without being told, you're, you are the work of art that God has made. And I'm telling you, in the midst of so many that were with you, I can call names, but I won't do that. You were the smallest then. You were even the least people taught. But you are the last woman standing. Why? Because you're determined. Your determination has pushed you to a point where, look, you are, no one can challenge the position you stand today. I'm not saying it because you're here. You are a great work of art of God.
my big egg my kokre, is going to sing time na money. I'm going to sneak to the side, singing the background vocal. Please enjoy my big brother.
Ike Egbomi talked to me. Wasn't Nigeria a place to be when you were by, you are our superstar? You know, honestly speaking, we would say that Nigeria was the best that can be. Though we were still very critical about the measures then. Of course, if that wasn't the case, some of us wouldn't have jetted out of the country. Um, we didn't know that it was going to go from bad to worse. Even our bad is luxury today. Um, having said that, we're talking about mannerism. We're talking about character. We're talking about um, true reflection of ourselves. That's a period of time of our lives that people are conscious of what they do and the social media fake news have not gotten into their blood. Um, however, I remember those were the times when if somebody says, ah, I will go and tell your uncle, not even your parents yet, one yeah, Joe, please don't. Because at that moment, you know, you might become a taboo to the family. Today, it does not matter what the take-home is, and that's the dangerous part. So what, where do we draw the line, okay, in terms of, because we are um, ambassadors of uh, music. When people say, ah, good music, eh, whatever, music is music to a certain extent. But in the Nigerian sense of doing things, well, I, I would say this because from the United States where I'm based, we still have what is called the underground music, but it is, it is censored and doctored to be underground. They still make money, but it doesn't have to be on cable news because they know that could reflect bad. You know, you never know when your young little girl will be touching the uh, remote and then before they know it, they're seeing what they're not supposed to see. But these days it's free for all. So we have a problem and we should not pretend like we don't. And if otherwise, what we put, if I go a little bit in politics, Please. it will be that what we reflect, we reflect us by who we put in our leadership. So whether we like it or not, we need to begin to say, you know what, um, before you taste the pudding, be wise. Reach that age where you can say, okay, I'm old enough. If I do this, I should be held accountable for my own responsibilities. No, even faults. Yes, responsibilities. Exactly, Thank you. sir. Yeah. Why didn't you settle in Europe? Ah, yes. In my heydays, of course, I was like number one in Holland, number one in Germany, law like that, all over the Dutch countries and even the UK. But you'd be amazed that I never played any show in the UK. I have the biggest fan base in the UK up till now. Why? For some reason, I was more f for the Scandinavian and the rest of the European countries. But the reason I never settled and choose America is beyond my being able to tell you this is a reason or that is a reason. It just happened that America um, was a place I could just put, lay my head upon and raise family. Um, if you look at it from another perspective, um, uh, you know when your better half tells you, ah, America would go, we're not go go Europe. What do I have to say? But again, we also look at the spiritual implications, and you know, of at that time, um, I was young, my wife was young, and we were looking at how we can balance the scale. I was for Europe. I love Europe because my name was up there. And yes, if you say. If I had gone to Europe, maybe I would have made it bigger, bigger. But then, on the spiritual perspective, three different men of God that didn't even know me, they didn't know themselves, were saying, America, so say. And I said, oh, no, I wow. never liked America. I mean, what am I going to do in America? America is such a place, musically, before you can break even in America, you have to even come through Europe. Most of our guys came through Europe. They didn't come directly. I'm even saying in the age where there was no social media. Now social media has made it possible that even from the bedroom in Abakaliki, you can clock a button and it's you, they will hear you in, 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 in Brazil. So that makes it better. But we should also, that brings me back to um, the fact that 
if you must do something good music, do it because <laughs> you don't want to be in the group of garbage in, garbage out. You want to be in the group of well-renowned where the future holds sway. And then at the end of the day, you'll be remembered for the good. Uh -huh. We did some bad things too now, Shumo. But I'm God not cover there. us. I did not say, I told you, I did not say it. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, woman, what's your next project? Yes, um, thank God. Um, thank you for reminding me of that one. We I, thank God, too. Yes, we thank ah. God. Yes, we thank God and we thank you. Um, right now, my Kukri Entertainment is um, a music label. We have a recording, uh, we have a recording company. We also have a whole lot more. So I have a 16-track album that is going to be released. And of course, last year, 2021, we released an EP. The EP was six tracks, of course, and there's a song there that has your voice on it called Lend a Hand. Do you hear it soon? So we, we were trying to do the much uh, the best we can by also working with the young folks. We have some young artists that we're trying to um, make sure we bring on board so that at the end of the day, we are not just criticizing by saying, ah, I want more here. It will also show by the work we put out there. So Michael Green Entertainment is a buddy that is working on a whole lot more. We're also working in publishing my first book, by the grace of God, at least, so that we can say I'm also with a group of authors like uh, Baba Wale, Shoyinka, and the rest of them. Yay! Thank you so much, Bobby. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to bring on stage with me. He's going to sing with me. My big brother, the great Mike Okre. Ha, daddy, please. I am so delighted to be on stage with this wonderful, beautiful woman. I'm delighted. I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm overjoyed. Oh, jeez. <laughs> My stomach has butterflies. So, no, no, mm. what part of but where are they? No, you can't see. Close to my... <clears throat> Happy Valentine, my darling. Happy Valentine, too. Please, to darling, you. could you play his song? You were the one? You did, honestly, when you did it with Auntie Veno, I was like, God, when am I going to get the <laughs> chance to do it? Ladies and gentlemen, and this you were the one. a wonderful, wonderful time to do it with a wonderful voice. Yes, yes.
that's quite something very deep. I can feel it deep down here, you know. I love you more. <laughs> you had a great time with us today. That was wonderful for me. I wanted to sing with him so bad. Oh, well, yes, that's true. I got a chance to sing that song. Well, Music Panorama signing out. My name is Jinka Davis. Thank you on behalf of all of us, my producer, my director, my book boutique, book book in English, all and above. Happy Valentine. Thank you.